I'm Mike Fleming. I've been in Livingston for, well, other than 12 years, I've been here all my life. I was born in 1928, so I'm 84. And uh, growing up here was was just wonderful, really, when you think about it. You, did, you didn't have to lock the doors of your house or your, your cars, and there was very little trouble problems other than maybe curfew violation. That's about the biggest thing that, that happened. And my whole family uh, is from Livingston, born and raised. Yeah, I got three daughters. One one lives in Townsend, one lives in Drummond, one lives in Lolo. So I just head west and get to go see them. On 6th Street, where I lived, in a, just in a one block, there were 22 kids living there. And they all went about their their ways, and a few of them are still in town, but most of them are gone. When I was growing up, my dad owned a grocery store down on G Street, and that's where the underpass was, the subway that came out of the shops. And so, when the old whistle blew, they come storming out there. And in fact, on payday, uh, my brothers had the store. They cashed more checks than the banks did. They had a table set up there, and they come out and cash your checks in there. But it was all railroad, you know, 80% uh, railroad, maybe 10% agriculture. And tourism was in there somewhere. original entrance to Yellowstone Park and the trains first run up to Cinnabar and then they'd take a stagecoach into the park and the trains would clear to Gardner and then the yellow buses would uh, pick them up at Gardner and take them up through the park and then bring them back and then originally or eventually they had a, the trains coming into Cody and to West Yellowstone. The Livingston Model Train Club. We're open here uh, we, uh, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday and Saturday at 7:30, and then during, during the summer we're open from one to four on Thursdays. And we've got nine members and uh, got three or four from Bozeman and five of us from, from Livingston here that come down. And we're down here running trains, and I mean a real train goes by and it shakes the building. And they're all off the door to to see it and then the next time here they go out again you know they might go out four or five times a night to see a real train so when one person asked me well what's so mystifying about it and she was down here for about 10 minutes and she was getting real excited I said there you go that's that's, that's what it is about it. People still think railroad, you know, and, and down here at our, our trains, they come down and, and a lot of us, as my dad was, my grandpa was an engineer or a fireman or something, and uh, so they still think railroad, and the older people just, just tell about how wonderful it was to ride the train. Something's mystifying about it, just like with myself. I just really enjoy it. 